Video game bang, video game bang, video game bang. Mega brand. Live from the sack, it's the live, it's in fact I'm putting rhymes on this track to put my guys on the map Updates, geek news, tech talk and reviews They can summarize it so you ain't gotta breeze through Listen once and you're forever fans And I'm not saying it because their theme song features Mega Ram The ultimate source of all geek media Other podcasts, they just don't match up Need proof? You can check the archives and catch up Stats off the chain, we have rearranged the game It'll never be the same, now it's time to feel the bang, bang. what is up everybody? Corey Vincent bang. here, video game Bang Brand new episode 2020 off to a rip-roaring start Because I got this man sitting across from me The real David Webb, what is going on, man? What's up everybody? How you been? Chilling, chilling like a villain <laughs> Like Magellan Wow. Yeah, you like that? Where'd that come from? I don't know. I just came off. Magellan does not rhyme with chillin'. It does if you look at the Dr. Scholl's commercials. The ultimate pooper of parties. Emma Skies, what's up? I mean, I just like to be grammatically and... and What's the syntax word? Like, is it syntaxically? You I feel are, like that's not a word. You would, we would be it. the ones asking you. You yeah. don't ask us those questions. You. Nobody here is gonna 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 question me on that. Here, let me type Google that into my com. let me type that into my Grammarly. Oh yeah, okay. Corey learned about Grammarly last time. I did. How learn are you about just Grammarly. now learning about Grammarly? Wait, you knew about Grammarly too? Of course I know about Grammarly. Syntax. There's no audio, by the way. Yeah, there's audio. There's plenty of audio. <laughs> there's plenty. There's audio there's all over the place. Liars. We, we have the best audio. I mean, you might want to tell that to people that are in chat right now. Yeah, we have audio. Whoa, whoa, chat. What did you say? What was it? What was the word that you said? Syntax. Syntax. Syntaxically. Syntaxically. Wrong. Syntactically. Damn it! I knew there was a word. Woo! We got her. Going on the high right. note. Thank you guys. That's I our show. That we'll see you guys count, next week. Though, when I <laughs> literally said, I'm pretty sure this isn't a word. See now, if I said it very like confidently and like like I knew what I was talking about, Emma, then it would be Emma, a bottom. Sh- it's Emma, over. Just take it's the over. L. Stick the L. I mean, there was no it's L. over. Sh- I don't really it's over. Uh, it's it's over. You get him next time. Also, the audio. Oh. The Emma, Twitch stream didn't catch it. So Emma, if, I definitely didn't just accidentally open a t- TikTok that was really loud. If you're TikTok. not, if you're not mad that you just took that L, you just lost twice. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, it's been real, guys. I'm gonna go now. Yeah. Unplugging my microphone, and we're going. We got her twice. Got so, him. Uh, Super Tuesday. Hope everybody voted. That was yesterday. Uh, it's the most patriotic two days ago. Thing if you're listening to the podcast, that's correct. That is absolutely correct. Emma, you're just mad that you took two L's, and now you got to correct everybody now, huh? I actually didn't take an L though. You did take an L. But I but I didn't. You lost twice. But I Oh, you're talking about no. this. Okay, I thought never mind. Uh um, like took an L but not about the back. other thing too, wash your goddamn hands everybody. Holy crap. What who who would have thought we'd be this far along in the year and we're in the break brink of a, a national disaster. It seems like news stories international up it didn't even start here. <laughs> why do it you gotta, national why, didn't start here? Why do you just gotta pick nits? <laughs> You, you lost. You lose. It's you not a drink national fizzy disaster. Lifting it's drink. international. It literally didn't even start here. Did you know there are places other than America, sir? We are not the center of the universe. America first. You know what? You know what, Corey? <laughs> that deep cut. You <laughs> drink fizzy lifting drink. God damn. That was good. Uh, that was good. It's just like uh, it, it's a big story, though. We, we could start there just because if you don't li- take anything away from this uh, episode, whether it's syntactically or otherwise, wash your goddamn hands. I'm learned a new word. Uh, it's not that hard. And stop panic buying all the fucking hand sanitizer in the world. I've noticed Just wash that. your hands. It's super expensive to buy hand sanitizer and masks and things like that. And you don't, you know what? You don't need a mask. One would argue that you just don't wash your hands because you're coddling your immune system. And if you don't wash your hands, then it helps you build a stronger immune system. Can you mute him? <sighs> we should have hand <laughs> desanitizing stations. There, you know what the funny thing is? You, you've accidentally hit on an actual important note in an immune Technology and that the fact that we put antibacterial on everything means we're killing all the bacteria and not letting our immune systems get used to it, and yep. thus we've developed these super germs. But that's a whole different conversation that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Dwight so Schrute wash your right. fucking hands. Dwight Schrute yeah. was right, and it's a virus, not a bacteria. So yes. your Purell isn't going to do anything. I mean, it it, it, it does, does. If it's sixty to ninety percent alcohol it's still, content. Yes, your Purell will do something if you have it. Don't not use it. But 
Yeah. The okay. fact that it's that it's a virus doesn't mean that your Purell won't do anything. Just wash your fucking hands and be clean. And don't, in the middle of a briefing about not touching your face, lick your fingers every five seconds. I does have you, you guys, guys been making that? conscious efforts to like wash your hands a lot more? I, I have. No. I, I don't even leave the I mean, house. I, I already wash my hands a I, lot. So. I just wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. I got uh, I got an Amazon package and I brought it in the house and I was like, oh shit, I touched something. I, I better go wash my hands. Who knows where that box had been? Like China. You. Uh, it's it's scary. It's terrifying. So the, the game developers conference has been officially postponed. That's a bummer. That's a hard bummer. Yeah, it's right in our backyard too, right here yeah. in, uh, in the Bay Area. And that was they were only a few weeks out when they canceled. Yeah. So that that was supposed to be coming up in a couple of weeks, and they were like, "We're just gonna cancel the whole thing because everybody was pulling out." Yeah, yeah, and we got we're seeing it affect other things. <laughs> We're just gonna move on right past. Just waiting that one. for one of you losers to pick up on I that. S- I could feel the energy emanating from David. Yeah. I'm very proud of him yeah. for not saying here's anything. The, here's here's the thing. <laughs> we'll go more into it later at the end of the show. But what? I'm 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 deep in in creating office trivia. Okay. So I'm in that mindset. Yeah. So when she said that, I had to just nope nope. Yeah, actually, we can start talk about that one event that is not canceled as of right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll let you know, but uh, we have trivia night at Oblivion Comics Coffee next Monday, and uh, actually, I don't even think you can sign up at this point. It's already it fully is closed. Booked. Yeah, it's closed out. It got booked. Uh, Losers missed I got, out. I got to smuggle somebody in because I already told them that they could go, and I did not have them sign up. So I'm gonna smuggle somebody in. Uh, this is David's brainchild, so he's been doing all the questions for it. Been very proud the last couple weeks. He's been bouncing questions off of us, and none. None of us really care about the show near as much as you but it's that's why it's a nice way to say it but it's cute no. to see him do this he, he cares I, so i don't know how if i should be sad or or proud of this you guys are going to say sad uh i came up with like 30 of these questions off the top of my head in the span of maybe 20 minutes I just like wrote them down boom 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 that's unhealthy i expect the boom, same roasted. level of enthusiasm from the both of you when i do harry potter trivia oh, oh. you'll get that from me I don't know about that one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, besides, uh, go back to coronavirus, though. <laughs> Spe- wow, okay. Speaking of... Uh, I feel like turn. I'm doing my part and not drinking any Coronas, so... Oh, he, he did the joke. All right, where did we have a horn? Uh, there we go. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> so loud. That was oh a my lot God. louder than I had anticipated. Okay, I can't hear anything. Rip ears. Um, this is affecting more than just gaming events, though. Now, obviously, uh, the Mission Impossible has shut down its filming. Yeah, in Venice. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's... Italy is just shutting down the world. Well, didn't you say that they're, they're gonna... doing soccer matches yeah. with no fans? <laughs> <laughs> Literally empty stadiums, but they're doing their soccer matches with nobody in the stadium, so that's got to be weird. Uh, schools, you hear all the trash talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, schools, universities, all shut down until mid March. Uh, like that whole, I think all their movie theaters are closed. Like Italy is it's just like ghost town. Exactly. Um, on a serious note, so I work in IT. <laughs> We're and talking about the coronavirus. This whole thing is a serious, serious note. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Based on my he said previous. on an American note. Okay. My, my, my previous reactions to okay. this. Uh, I work in IT, and we've been trying to order computers and computer-related equipment, and it's really hard to get things, and it's a lot of things are back-ordered because things are made in China. Yeah. And it's not happening, so I'm like, like hmm. I might have some new people starting at my job that don't have computers because <laughs> we're not going to get them in time. Um, 007, they delayed. I am devastated. They finished filming the movie, right? It was yes. set to come out and because. It's coming out next month, except that it's not anymore. Everybody in China is in quarantine, so <sighs> that it'll hurt the, the box office for the movie. So they are postponing. I'm devastated. Seven months. Seven. I've been getting so excited. Like, I didn't let myself worry about this movie. And I was like. You know, there's always a James Bond movie, but it's always like five years off. And you're like, it'll come someday. And, and it was getting to that someday. I was like, all right, I'm getting into it. The song came out. I'm here for it. I've been listening to my favorite Bond songs. Ready to rewatch my favorite Bond movies. And they just take it away from me. Just you, take it away from me. You don't strike me I as a Bond I love James fan. Bond. Who's your favorite James Bond? At the moment, I do love Daniel Craig. Pierce Brosnan is a close second. Yeah. Is the one that I started with. You know, that's it's like, like, it's your, like the doctor your first. Yeah. yeah, it's like the doctor. It's always the one that you start with. Yeah, that's your Pierce Brosnan is, is a good one. Uh, yeah. But I do really like because Casino Royale mm, is probably my favorite Bond movie. I have not really watched a good. single 007 movie what? start to finish, but I've completed two of the video games. 
So there's a little redemption there. Hmm. Wow. Goldeneye, obviously. Obviously. And then wow. uh, the one that came out on the GameCube. I don't know. Tomorrow count. Never Dies or something. But I, do I you have a favorite Bond song? Uh, the one that goes do 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 do. You don't know anything. Do do. Do you have a favorite Bond song? No. In fact, I am anti Bond songs because Excuse they me? take twenty minutes of the movie to do the intro, and I'm like, oh my god. It's a song. It's like three minutes. It's just get through this so we can get to the shooting and spy work. But it's part of the shooting and the spy work. Do you watch it? It tells you. It's a precursor for the movie you're about to see, sir. Do you understand? What is it? What What is it in a in a play? It's the the beginning. <laughs> oh, what is it? Hang on. Oh, come to me. Prologue. Nope. Nope. Foreshadowing. Nope. Nope. Continue. Anyway. Oh, come to me. I think. Uh, the Overture. Best- the best thing they ever came out with is the nope, uh, sound right. effect when you punch someone in 007. <laughs> 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 really? It's iconic. <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> I, I hear that in my dreams. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> other events. Uh, Intel Extreme Masters for Counter-Strike. That was played in an empty arena as well. Google I.O. Twitter pulled out of South by Southwest. Adobe Summit. Facebook. Ultra Music Festival. And the most damaging, the most that affects the most lives is Hasbro has recently come out and said that the coronavirus could potentially stall production of baby Yoda dolls. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, no. Moment of silence, everybody. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see what happens with E3, which, uh, the ESA today said they are quote, actively assessing the situation. Uh, I'm curious to see about WonderCon, which is coming up at the end of March. What else are we looking at? Where's WonderCon? Is that LA? Anaheim. Oh, Anaheim. In time. I don't know. What do you, what's your take? Would you go to any of these events personally yourself? Yeah, I'd no. go to WonderCon. Because I'm planning on potentially going to WonderCon. I wouldn't not go. Really? Here's, here's how, the thing. How bad would it have to get? Like, I mean, if people are dropping dead like flies, I'll stay home. Well, because, okay. So, fact stuff about coronavirus is that the people that it's, you know, who the lives that it's claiming are elderly, typically, or people who have, like, History, immunocompromised. Yeah, of, of respiratory issues and things like that. Like so, asthma. So you're just running out, are you, are you, like kind of willy nilly with the whole thing, right? Because and, and actually, when you first came in and we talked about coronavirus, my your reaction I was like, ah, people are overreacting. I think people are overreacting when they go in and they try to buy up every paper towel in Costco. Yeah. Calm your shit, people. Calm yeah. down. Yeah. It's no. It's fine. There's two extremes, but are you a little too relaxed? You think? I mean, maybe, but for now, I think it's fine. Like, I'm keeping, I'm keeping very up to date. It's not even, it's not like I'm not paying attention, so I don't care. But like, I'm listening to the news every single day about coronavirus, and I'm like, I'm okay right now. The thing though is, Emma really doesn't leave her house. That's very true. So that she's is very true. She's at very low risk of contracting this disease, or a higher risk because she has a weaker immune system. Or she has I do a have a very risk. weak immune system. Yeah. I get sick a See, lot. Uh, okay, so but I don't care. To, It'll be a bad point, flu, though, to and that, I'll be fine. You get con <laughs> Someone flu. Twitch clip that just in case. We'll play that at her funeral. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a sh- brief I clip stand by of that. some of Emma's last words. <laughs> it's I'm gonna get sick. It's gonna be a bad flu, and then I'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Kirby I want that enthusiasm inscribed on my epitaph. <laughs> the Kirby enthusiasm yeah. song. Dun, 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 I feel like this episode, dun, dun, dun. Emma's is like struggling to use bigger words just because she took those. Do you two think epitaph is a big word? That's a monster word. Oh my god. I just learned what Grammarly was, Emma, <laughs> and it's changed my life. I'm pretty sure everybody at my work is like, holy shit, Corey got smart over the no, weekend. No, you know what it probably is? <laughs> what happened to Corey? No, Corey you know just used is, an Oxford comma? He's, <laughs> right now, he's Joey from Friends when he figures out the th- thesaurus function on his computer. <laughs> so everything he says, he thinks is super smart, but it makes no fucking sense. Because <laughs> there are all these words that he doesn't know what they are. I'm telling you, maybe there's more people out there like me who don't know what Grammarly is. It is a beautiful invention. It basically, it installs over your web browser. It works on Twitter. Everything now that I have has like a Grammarly plugin. And it knows where to put your commas. It knows like where hyphens go in in compound words. Like, it's amazing. Oh my God, you know what else does that though? What? An education. (laughs) I didn't pay. Remember English class. No, no. Remember... He went to school with two teachers. <laughs> and so. I'm not in crippling debt either. So and, there's, yeah, so yeah. pros and cons. Uh, pretty sure Grammarly is kind of like audible to where like 
they they do like they throw money at podcasts to do. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. Ninety nine percent sure. Oh, Almost just, every <laughs> podcast I've listened to. Also, aren't they owned by Google? Because I feel like I see them all over the fucking place. Maybe. I think I just like wasted it. I just gave them free plugs. You did. I was gonna try and stop Damn. you, but I was like, ah, we'll just give them a freebie. Uh, I'm more more than the coronavirus itself. I am more concerned about like what Emma is saying with people panicking, because. I'm I'm that's what I'm preparing for. I'm not preparing for the virus. I'm preparing for people panicking and there not being food on the shelves because they're panicking. <laughs> you used to think you're gonna go to the store and there's no food? Yes. <laughs> I saw somebody uh, somebody that I follow on Twitter posted a picture of like the soup aisle and like everything was gone and they're like, please calm down. I just wanted some like chicken noodle. Like you don't need this. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, there's there's a happy medium. You should be cautious, especially if you have older parents and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Or asthma. Or asthma. Uh, the issue with this thing is that it stays like if you get it stays in your system. It hibernates yeah. or no? What is it called? It's another incubates. word. Incubates. Incubates. There. Thank you for like fourteen. It can go up to fourteen days, and you mm-hmm. have it, and you don't know, and you're passing along to people. That's a horror movie right there. And that's yeah. It, well, it we have is. a we have a couple <laughs> cases here in Northern California. We just had our first death. Uh, yeah. Pretty close to us, right? Yep, yep. Um, although that was somebody from the the cruise ship, so that's not surprising. And, but it, it was at Flight on cruises. What was scary is that that was at the hospital that we're gonna <laughs> have our baby at. Like I was just there Ooh. like a week ago doing the the tour. Oh, and, and so stuff. was that guy that just died. <laughs> I'm fine. Everybody. <laughs> I'm fine. This is fine. fine. We're gonna be okay. Fine. I've been gargling bleach and. <laughs> I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know. Posing thoughts. I think, uh, I, you know, it's it's weird. I don't think I'm at the point of, like, wouldn't go to a movie or anything. But even what, when I went to the voting booth on Tuesday, which everybody did, I'm sure, especially if you're in this room. 100%. According to the fucking statistics. Uh, go vote, people. Yeah, really, you should well, vote. Jesus Christ. I, this is my first time. You know, I usually always do the paper ballots, Mm -hmm. and this time I did the screen thing. Or when the guy asked me, I kind of was like deer in the headlights. I was like, "Oh, sure, touch screen." Usually it's always full, but you know, I'll use it this time. Okay, boomer. And I never had them in my district ever. I I I went up to it, and then by the time I sat down, I was like, "Oh shit, this thing has probably been touched by." hundreds of people mm-hmm. you know like this is probably the, of all the times i should have done paper to be fair when they give light. you a paper ballot they give you the little like cover thing and hundreds of people have touched that uh, yep. okay. although 58 people because i was number 59 at my district it like tells you when you submit your ballot mm-hmm. how many have been there i was number 59 did you just go first thing in the morning no i actually i went in the middle of the afternoon that's sad <laughs> i think because most people wait till they get off work oh, mm-hmm. okay so it gets really crowded after like 5 p.m I, uh, as That's when you get people in LA waiting to vote until 2 a.m. because the lines were so fucking long. Yeah, it's like a Disney ride. I was using Ridiculous. my pinky, like the tip of my pinky, like trying not to touch anything. And then when I was done, I went to go like see if they had any kind of like hand sanitation stuff, and they didn't. And so uh, I, I did, you know, the the right thing, and I walked up to the front. That's voter suppression. I went <laughs> probably. <laughs> I went up to the front and I was like, "Hey guys, uh, it might be a good idea with all this uh, disease going around and stuff to maybe put some hand sanitizer." So I did my part, everybody. Okay, Karen. Yeah, they probably didn't do it. They probably they're like, like "We're already set up for the day. What do you want us to do?" Yeah. <laughs> this asshole. <laughs> me, uh, can I talk to your manager, please? Yeah. What do you think this is? Um, there was a mom and daughter that were working the the voting di- like booth that I was at, and. Like, the mother was probably in her, her 60s, and the daughter was probably in her 40s. But the daughter was, like, clearly trying to help somebody who was trying to change the registration. And the mom kept being like, yeah, you do this. And then the woman, and I swear to God, it sounded like a teenager with her mom. She was just like, mom, no, that's wrong. Stop, stop, stop. Mom, stop. Mom, stop. <laughs> God, mom, just let me this do guy. this. She's like, so what you're going to do is you're going to do this. And the mom's like, and then you do this. And she's like, mom, no, that's wrong. She turns this guy, no, don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I was like. What is happening? This is why you Was don't there let, any training? This is 100% why you don't let family no. members work together. You know what? As somebody who has worked at a poll before, no. No. There's no training. No training. There's no training. So you've worked the poll, David? I did. Nice. Yep. So tell us all about it. Uh, it's, I don't know if he caught the... It's for, uh, no, I did. Okay. <laughs> I did. That's for a different kind of podcast. That's for VGB After Dark. Oh, no! What you playing? What theme what song? Where did what that come play? from? What you playing? What, Damn. What, what you playing? The one thing that is immune to the coronavirus, when the when the world ends, the only thing left will be the "What You Playing" theme song, and the "What You Playing" gods who bestowed uh, upon me a mission 
to figure out what everybody's been playing each week. Uh, let's start with Emma because you were uh, pretty proud of yourself on Twitter today. I have come to the end of a beautiful journey. Mm. <laughs> now I finished. I uh, beat Death Stranding last night. How After long how long? How many hours? 117 hours. Oh, 117 you poor hours. That is torture. Of walking with a ladder. Yeah, you made that joke an hour ago, and it wasn't funny. I know. Either. Corey promised me that this time, but he, he lied because he didn't laugh. He did. Because oh, it's not funny. Damn it, Corey. Uh, no, 117 hours for my main playthrough, and then I'm I'm still gonna go back in. No, and, like, don't go through. Things, no, don't. Because I'm gonna try don't. and platinum it. No, which I don't really do for games unless like I'm really like I don't really do the whole achievement hunting unless I'm really into a game. Um, so I'm probably I'm gonna try and platinum this one. Mm. There's a lot to do. It was really good. It was fucking bizarre as shit. It was so weird. If you put a gun to my head and told me to explain this game start to finish, I don't think I could. But all I know is I had a great time. No, it was my gosh. really good. So I really enjoyed it. You're telling me you played this game for 117 hours and yes. still don't know what it's about. I do, but I don't. Like I know what happened and I know what I saw, but it's one of those like ask me in a month. Because I need to, I need to like just incubate, if you will, the uh. ending in my head. It's weird because the whole reason I was on so late, I finished it at two o'clock in the morning, which is not what I meant to do on a Tuesday night. Because um, I started playing and I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm close to the end. So I'm just going to finish it right now. And then there was like eight more hours. But you get to a point where I'm sitting in the credits and I've gotten the ending and I've gotten all the exposition it gives you at the ending. I was so fucking confused. And then there's a, somebody was like, you know, there's an after credit scene. I was like, all right, there's an after credit scene. The after credit scene is two more hours of gameplay is and then really? another set of credits. Wow. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, is it? I, was, I don't understand. Anything, what's happening? And then there's, oh, because there's two more hours of the game to play. It was a lot. It was a lot. But it was so <sighs> good. I really, really enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. The performances are amazing. The story was really interesting. It had. <laughs> interesting. I mean. Great adjective. That is what you want a story how, to be. But how is it interesting no. if you don't know what the story is? <laughs> you can be interested and confused at the same time. That's, That's okay. not a good move. That's not a good story, though. But it can be. No, it, it can can't be. It can be bad or it can be good. It's terrible A lot of writing. people were confused by the end of Inception, and there's a lot of argument over what was real and what wasn't, but that doesn't mean it's a bad story. A lot of people still really like it. A lot of people, meaning like weirdos. Yeah, wow. but you could... You, if, if somebody said... Tell me what Inception is about. I could tell them what Inception is about. And I could also tell them what Inception is about because I watched it a bunch of years ago and I've had time to rewatch it and re-experience it and kind of figure it out. I finished Death Stranding last night. Give me some time. But you have 117 hours. I do. It was a really great 117 hours. Remind me in two years to ask Emma (laughs) Skies what Death Stranding is about. She's not going to be here. She's going to get hit with the coronavirus. Are we still going to be talking in two years? Okay, your reminder is set for March 4th, 2022. All right. We're all going to be dead. <laughs> no, I, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. Like, I, so I just keep talking over you guys. So you make your whatever jokes because I know you don't like it, but for the audio podcast. I really did enjoy this game. It's, like I said from the beginning, like, this is not a game that's for everybody. If you're not into this kind of, like, weird, bizarro story that is, like, you're not going to really understand the whole time, even when you get to the end of it, you have to mull over what you've just seen and kind of discuss it and figure out, what what was what like if you're into that then you'll like this game um there are parts obviously that i didn't like there there are like mechanics of the game that i didn't enjoy or or that i thought were unnecessary but i really had a really fun time what were some of those the combat like the there you get to parts where it's like a shooter combat kind of thing Uh uh-huh and it's not done super well Um, almost like it was an afterthought yeah i mean it like because it's not what the game is made for and it's a very small section of the game like of the 117 hours that I played, maybe like two hours were spent shooting. And those two hours were kind of hard because like it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the main part of the game. So the mechanics aren't super great for it. Um, I will say from day one, the one thing this game was missing was a fucking music player. Kojima, I know you're listening to this. Give me a music player in this goddamn game. Kojima does not care. He took his. He's taking his millions and gonna come up with his next nonsensical story with big actors that he'll sucker intellectuals into playing. Man, Maz Mikkelsen in this game though is the only character I was like, I care a hundred percent about your story, where you're going. I love you. I'm with you. I want it. Let's go. Like what? everybody else, I could kind of be like. Fuck it, take it or leave it. But Maz Mickelson, I was feeling the whole time. What that about man the, was good. What about the baby? 
pet f- I don't like kids. I don't like babies. I don't want the baby. Like, by, like, you, I was not attached to the baby because I didn't <laughs> want it and it cried all the time and Jeez, I hated it. Wow. But I was attached to Sam and Sam was attached to the baby. So I had, like, a secondary attachment to it, you Through know? Through proxy. Okay. I was like, I don't give a shit about you, but I give a shit about the guy that gives a shit about you. So here we go. <laughs> Had a picture of Emma. That's how stepkids work. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> Emma's a stepmom. Yeah. But Look, like, kid, I don't give a shit about you, but I give a shit about your dad. So. <laughs> if it didn't cry all the time, I'd have been fine. But the damn thing cries all the time. Like, you'll get shot, and then you'll get a notification. Like, it starts crying. It says, loser, baby, stress levels are increasing. I'm like, really? Your stress levels are in- I'm getting shot, you little shit. <laughs> or like if you go what, what killed me every time is like when you go through water if you go deep enough that like the baby thing is submerged it gets stressed out and i'm like you're suspended in liquid how can you tell that you're underwater Jeez. <laughs> why are you stressed it's I almost like they didn't like put any like real thought into the storyline or anything you don't get to talk. You just so if you're listening to the podcast, Corey just likes to be a contrarian, and he likes no. To that's these things not like true. I'm a very positive person. I'm a very so positive person. He's just saying things to say things. I'm but a this good was a fun, person. In all seriousness, thing. jokes aside, it does just kind of baffle my mind. And I'm not doing this to make fun of it. It's just it baffles my mind that you could play a game for so long, but not have a like an idea of what the story is. Like, you went through the whole thing. I can thing, give you an idea of what the story is, but I couldn't explain <laughs> intricately couldn't ex- what the whole thing was. Because it was 117 hours, and I finished it last night. <laughs> That's a lot to go through. Yeah, you got to give me time to process. Line. I don't know. David Webb, what you been playing? Uh, Played a little bit of Minecraft. Minecraft. And, uh, Minecraft. Uh, multiplayer still? Uh, Yeah, with my nephew. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of let him do what he wants to do and i just take the we play in creative mode and uh because he doesn't like the monsters and i just take the tnt blocks i just start blowing up mountains to see how how deep in the mountain i can go he it's a beautiful game it's a beautiful game uh he has fallen through the game four or five times he just sits there and just like act like digs and digs and digs and digs and digs and then david i need help and i look over and he's like looking up at the world and I have to make. It, I have to help him fly back through the hole that he just dug, patch the hole up, <laughs> and then. That's a such a beautiful game. It is. It's the, a really fun the, game. That's like I don't know. I I hope maybe Fortnite when it's all said and done and the dust settles. I feel like the dust has settled on Minecraft. I think it's like Legos now. It's 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 ascended. It's beyond, ascended. Like it, it's just Minecraft. It's an icon. It, it will be yeah. around. I think forever. Yeah, I think so. And they they're still adding stuff to it, which is cool. Like I, I talked about last week about discovering like raid battles and things yeah. like that that I had no idea existed. I saw wizards and witches and and some weird like like skeleton knights. Yeah, yeah, beautiful game. Uh, and it's cool you get to experience it through the eyes of a of a child, through yeah. the eyes of an angel. Uh, speaking of a game that keeps adding stuff to it, dusted off Sea of Thieves. Oh, I thought he would like that. I go, hey, you want to be a pirate? He's like, yeah. So, uh, dust off Sea Thieves, and uh, he likes just staying on the island and just running around the island. His favorite thing to do is take the bucket, go to the beach, scoop up water, run to the various vendors, and just splash water on them. And then he laughs, and then runs to the beach, grabs water, and goes find somebody else to splash water on. Wow. Uh, he did get attacked, like, twice. By people? By people. Actual people coming through? Actual people, yeah. You I let him wear a headset? Uh, or no. do you, or do they come through the TV like? No, they actually they weren't talking. Oh, okay. Um, I I did I did take the controller like when they were blowing up our ship and I just did like a sarcastic thanks, and yeah. they said like oh you're welcome we're redecorating your ship for you. <laughs> and, Assholes. Uh, yeah, they were. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I kind of want to see you go like into straight protection mode. Like, did you start getting all mad? You know he's he's four people. <laughs> I put. I, Asshole. Jackson, give me the controller. Plug in my headset. Look, dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a child. No, I did take the controller and go and try and fight them on the ship. Yeah. But uh, it was an instant kill. <laughs> so. I got really annoyed with that game when they nerfed uh, mouse and keyboard. 
is before you were able to, oh yeah I, you were really excited to play on mouse and keyboard yeah but it was like a fun game like y- you can set the sensitivity to whatever and you could just kind of like it, people's turn rotations and stuff were so slow on controller and they didn't have any like controls to modify it yeah so they had a huge disadvantage and no auto aim in that game too so right. like just using a mouse and keyboard just gave you just- a massive advantage until they like nerfed your spin speed and made you basically like you were using a controller and it just felt like i was playing underwater get wrecked i know it sucked uh but still a good game it did they add a bunch of new mechanics because when i quit they had just added like uh smaller rowboats and things like that yeah there's like two years ago yeah yeah they have those you can get pets now um that's the last update that came before i quit was the pets yeah there's a whole bunch of new like quests and people to talk to and and stuff to do do people actually talk now or is it just like the same it's kinda... still like the like talk to them and press y or whatever like that mm. and read along with what what about the ships still the same ships still the same ships they did it add an arena mode where you can you have to be at least in a team of two uh-huh. and go and basically just kind of it's like deathmatch sh- yeah it's like deathmatch oh, that's cool so that's pretty fun. Um, well, I think it is. I don't know. I haven't played it, but it looks fun. Nice. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's it's cool. It's a fun little... But could you explain the story to me? Yeah. You're a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> you explore the world searching for treasure and killing ghosts. But can you explain all the lore? Yeah. I can. Can you? Corey, what you been playing? <laughs> I've been playing... I'm, I've been back to my old habits. I'm back on Overwatch. And actually was on a massive win streak. If it, it was a big feels good man. You I came old. back after not playing for a long time. I went I went on my sabbatical to Minecraft World yeah. and uh I was like, All right, I think I'm ready to go uh frag out. Question, do you think they do like what TikTok does? And so you leave for a bit <laughs> and then you come back and you're like win, 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 win. So and you they get jazzed up and you're like, Yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna play TikTok Overwatch. Okay, so just TikTok as an update, we did a, a pretty long after show last week and we started diving into David's TikTok, which he's a massive TikTok star now, if you haven't like, Do you post TikTok? Yeah, a lot. TikTok. Yeah, he has a he had way more than I thought he did. Way more than you do. Find this. He yeah. found you. Yeah, he has a TikTok. It's a healthy I think that little sound TikTok. Very accusatory. Channel. Yeah, and uh, he was really excited about his numbers. <laughs> Turn the volume he, down, Emma. Guys, the what TikTok does though, Emma, is on your first video, it like gives you a huge algorithm boost. And if you notice, like most people's channels, their first video has like most more views than a lot of their other ones. Did not happen on my TikTok. Yeah, that's the thing is. So I went after that. I went and looked. I'm not saying that didn't happen to me because it is abnormally higher than the rest of my videos. But I went to a lot of, and there's not as big of a discrepancy. But it's there. But it's there. Yeah, in I, most like, cases, it, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, it's just what they do. It's kind of, uh, it's, it's proven. It's science. My first video has like 700-something views, and then every everything else, like, for the most part, averages around between 90 to, like, 160. My first video has 220 views, and my second has 1,176. Oh, yeah. Yeah, saw that. Well, you're MS guys. Uh, So I went back to Overwatch Overwatch. and started slaying, laying people down. It's been a great experience. I am almost to Diamond on my alt account, which what had happened was I had my main account that I took so seriously for so long, and I get my alt account. And I don't take it seriously, but then I kind of am. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, once, kind of am. Yeah, once, once I got like higher than my other one, I was like, oh, maybe the tides have turned. This is my new main. This is your main, and the other one's your... Yeah. Friendship with Video Game Bang is over. My new friend is What's Up Pizza's account. <laughs> so it's been a good time. And then uh, I still go back to Minecraft. Uh, we opened it up to uh, Pratt Pratt, who hangs out in our streams, and... Uh, it's just a good old time, man. Uh, it's it's a good game. Uh, so that's the game for what you're playing. Uh, let's get back into some... Webb's telling the news. Is he? I don't think he is. No, that's, yeah. he, he's not. He definitely has his laptop <laughs> shut. We all just looked at Webb like, are you? I look, I, if I had a mirror, I'd look at myself. Webb, you have a lot of TikToks. I have a lot of TikToks. You know what that means. Oh, for the... I'm 
I'm telling the news. That one felt a lot better. <clears throat> uh, so Riot Games has officially revealed that Project A is named Valorant, and it's releasing in the summer of 2020. There was a lot of new information surrounding the game, uh, according to their official social media channels. They have a YouTube, a Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, there's actually an event that I think is like postponed or modified Probably. due to coronavirus, but uh, there should be a lot more details coming soon. The three of us uh, did watch a alpha video that had come out, and uh, what were you guys' thoughts? Start with uh, Emma. What did you think? Oh, we're watching CSGO. That's what we... <laughs> kind of what we came to. It, it looks like CSGO with an Overwatch cover. Looks like somebody said, you know what? I really like the maps of CSGO, but I like the aesthetic of Overwatch. But made by Riot. But so you just want to get Riot. all of them in there so that as Steven in chat has said, can't wait for the most toxic game in the history of mankind. <laughs> yeah. It is the trifecta. Yeah, let's take CSGO, Overwatch, Riot <laughs> Games, put them together. And create an absolute apocalypse of toxicity. Yep. What did you uh, uh Is this a game that you are interested no. in playing at all, Emma? No, not at all. No. Y you liked Overwatch, though. Yeah, so I'll play Overwatch. <laughs> it's the same reason I want to play Paladins, because I play Overwatch. But it's this like, is like, different enough, like, and you don't play Overwatch very much. It's so like if I wanted to play Overwatch, I would just play Overwatch. What if it's free to play? I, I already have Overwatch, so it is free to play, because I paid for it. <laughs> So I don't it's have to not, pay to play it because I already not, I already paid for it. It's not okay. free to play though because you it's, paid for that's it. That's the joke. Yeah, David, what about you? It's like when somebody says like they eat frog legs and they go, but it tastes just like chicken. Well, then just eat chicken. It looks just like Overwatch. <laughs> they just play Overwatch. Like, exactly. I'm not gonna. No, Here's where not. I think where the differences are going to like Overwatch is great. I love it. Obviously, put a lot of time into it. It's actually kind of, obligated. Pretty to much my job. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the game. However. You know, the when it comes to, like, pure mechanical skill in a game, like, CSGO is, is where it's at. Like, the aim, you have to be so crisp with your aiming and playing corners, and there's very, very little room for error. In Tank, I mean, in Overwatch, for like me, for example, I'm not that mechanically skilled of a player, so I could pick up Reinhardt, where I don't have to aim. I just hold a shield and swing and things. Or uh, Moira, my new main, where I don't really have to aim. I just have to be in their general direction and throw some <laughs> healing orbs. Like, So it's perfect for me. I'm scared uh, for Valorant for me because like, I'm not that good. So I think for... Well, the bonus... Is like we said, it's basically Overwatch, so I'm sure there's a character in there where you don't really have to aim. I think I don't think that's the case in this, though. You sure? Every, yeah, I we've think, seen like 30 seconds of alpha footage. I feel like we can't decide that. There's a Hanzo character. Yeah, but buying and stuff is such a huge mechanic, and upgrading your guns that way. So it's not like, as far as the guns go, everyone has a specific kit. One dude pulled that's out true. like an arrow, and it was like an ability. Like he pulled out an arrow yeah. to shoot, and he had and a they gun. They clearly had primary. ults and things. Yeah, yeah, they had like there's a fair ult to they their like shoot rockets or something. To their credit, it's not like in the. Do you remember the division trailers at E3, where they had like those clearly paid actors reading a script as they're oh, playing yeah. the game? That or um, yeah. uh, Anthem did that too. Yeah. Anthem did that too. Hey, there's an ammo chest. Let's share it. You know, like they were yeah. like so scripted. This one did feel like it was people just playing the game, which was kind of cool. Yeah, they had to keep bleeping. Yeah, they bleeped a few <laughs> things out. It felt pretty authentic. But he'd be like, "All right, I got my ult going in." I, I think it's going to be great. It's going to scratch that itch for people. Who's itching for this, though? Because you have Overwatch and CSGO. Where's the itch? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you're 100% you're right. But it's Riot. <laughs> so, I mean, there's... I, I think the hype... Like, there's a lot of people out there who... Uh, I mean, I can kind of sp speak to the pro scene a little bit. Like, I know a lot of guys who are kind of like in no man's land who aren't, you know, quite top-ranked pro-level CS players, uh, tier two or tier three, Overwatch players, uh, and, and people in that space who are like super excited because this is a new game that's going to have a lot of hype. Same thing with Apex. Apex players yeah. who are frustrated with the game, who this is a new competitive shooter that's going to be skill based. And since Riot's backing it, there's probably going to be a lot of prize money. You know, the LCS is definitely the most dominant esport. Yeah. So the hope is that they're going to come out. This is going to be a big, well-supported game and maybe be a career for, so for a lot of people. It's it, The hype isn't so much about the game itself. It's the fact that it's an alternative to what's already out there. Yeah. Because it's not really 
I don't know if you, I mean it's a new game in the sense that it's not out yet, but it's not necessarily a new idea. It's just bringing in the ideas of other games. I think there's a lot of power in influencers right now in in steering game popularity probably oh, more than there's ever been I in think, any other point in history i think apex proved that yeah yeah I look mean, at 100 look yeah. how big apex got because it was like for people who were fps you know stars yeah. that weren't really feeling fortnite you know instead of playing instead of spending you know millions of dollars in ads let's spend millions of dollars in giving this game away to these you know, these influencers and let it go viral and spread hype that way. What Steven said in chat is it's going to poach a lot of Fortnite players. It's going to poach a lot of players from a lot of different games, which I think yeah. is kind of, if it does well, and those are the hot games that, you know, Ninja, Tim the Tatman, all these, you know, really popular figures are playing, then it's going to be a popular game. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see, though, <laughs> like, I agree. I think it is going to poach a lot of, you know, players from other games, but. The key is, are they going to stick with it? Because Apex poached a lot of players from from Fortnite. At the end of the day, they went back to Fortnite. Realm Royale, one of my nobody f- ever cared or, about Realm Royale. But it poached a lot of Fortnite players for who a minute. Who all went back? Who all went back once they the developer ruined it, which yeah. is a different developer. High Res does not have the track record that Riot does. It's true. So I think this is going to be a force to be reckoned with. It's definitely got a lot of people's attention. I'm seeing contrarians out there now kind of popping up too saying like it doesn't look that great but it's it's alpha, it's alpha footage. footage of course it doesn't look great yeah it's alpha footage and like counter-strike is like a 30 year old game you know like this is probably the closest we've seen to, to an upgrade to an upgrade in, in a long time like uh call of duty has their version of it now i can't remember what it's called blackout seek, seek and destroy oh. or something no where it's like you know uh, so if we didn't mention it before, the point of this game, like Counter Strike, oh, is like yeah, yeah. there's a team A and there's a team B, and you're trying to go plant a bomb of some kind. One thing that's always hindered, uh, you know, Counter Strike's popularity, in my opinion, for like mainstream sponsorships, is the fact that it's actually called bombs. terrorists yeah. and it's bombs and counter terrorists. It's and, definitely pre a pre nine eleven game. Yeah, that they did not decide that they were going to change. It's it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Counter Strike isn't like a very popular game, and you know, not it's got a very healthy scene and everything. But one it, thing that's always kept it from that mainstream. Yeah, high schools can play it. Colleges, uh, colleges play it. But like, you know, you're not going to see very many middle school to high school teams and stuff. I, and esports is growing in the a- academics. I feel like it. Yeah, it has a ceiling. Just make it look like a that. cartoon, and it's fine. <laughs> well, pretty TV much. I know what they're be. doing. Yeah, that's why, like Fortnite, uh, Overwatch, like those are pretty accepted games in in those demographics. But oh, we'll see. Uh, in other news, Phase Clan have suspended their player Dubs, Fortnite player, for hate speech. The player will be required to go through sensitivity training. Phase Clan's full statement was uh, released on Twitter. And uh, Dubs also put out, you know, the standard tweet. I'm sorry, I should have never said that. He said kind the N word for those of you that don't said know. the N word. Hard R, very Isn't hard. Isn't he like R. eight too? He's he's young. He's like 11 or something. Like he, he's a young guy. That's why I stop giving 11 year olds a platform. They don't know what to do. Well, They're here's the stupid. thing. He and he, apparently they were never taught not to say the N word, which is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Well, so he didn't know he was on stream. Which, in a lot of ways, makes it worse. I was saying, yeah, so he just says it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I wasn't saying that in, like, a defensive <laughs> thing, but it's not, like, it's not, like, a situation where a he piece of shit. knew he was on stream and he, you know, dropped it. Or, like, right. like I, didn't even Ninja have an issue where he was, like, singing a yeah. song and maybe... And he ad the lyric because it's not in the original song. And he got, like, in trouble. And yeah. we've seen it from Tifu had some stuff Clearly going on. Clearly had such a lasting effect. Yeah, I mean, I, when you think about it, we were due for one of these. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Look at your clocks and, yeah. you know, uh, a fortnight every about three, to, like three a, to six months. In a warehouse, you have a chalkboard days since last kid said N-word. And <laughs> we just have to scratch it. This is back at zero now. Every time a fortnight. It's kids, not even kids. It's just days since white fortnight player says the N-word. <laughs> every time a fortnight kid says the N-word, a troll gets his wings. Um, there was a wings lot- the right word? <laughs> I don't know. We, uh, I don't know. I think the it's kind of weird that uh, he's obviously he's a really popular player and he's yeah. really highly ranked why is um, an 11 year old popular in, in a I, I hate this welcome to 2020 Stop Emma. welcome to the twitch world famous you have you have a thing about kids though that's um, I, mean, I think it's it's bad when it's child stars too like kids don't know what to do with fame oh no that's true i mean look at the majority of disney stars yeah 
Musketeers. Uh, in uh, chat, Ego Brain says, I'm not defending it, but I hear the N word all the time in GTA Online. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. They need to stop saying it too. And if they had a platform, they'd probably Freaking get fired ego. and go through sensitivity training. I'm not defending it, but. I, I do find myself. Uh, stop saying the N word. It's not a hard concept. I really don't get this. Well, there's other words you probably shouldn't be saying too. Like, it, there's a lot of other words. Yeah, there's a lot of other words yeah. you shouldn't be saying. And I've. I go through Overwatch matches where, you know, you get those people who will just, like, drop it super casually or, you know, just to, like, try and annoy. And you should always report them. It jars me. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. It, jar it, it yeah. actually physically yeah. jars me. Yeah. You, you, and I have found myself actually saying stuff to them now. Like, Good. I, I, now that my uh, – I get recognized in Overwatch now. I, I was playing a match, and I was just dropping Shock 2020 links. Yeah. And uh, in the Shock Discord – I got a screenshot, like basically saying, like when you realize you were in a, a competitive match with what's up pizzas and he's dropping twenty twenty links. <laughs> so like I cannot go into Overwatch with my accounts and start like acting a fool yeah. at all. There's zero tolerance. So now when I hear that shit, for sure, like where I would have probably been quiet, I do s speak up a lot more now. It's kind of become more important as I'm getting older, and you see more of these stories come out of these kids. Yeah, and you're around you know the scene more and it's terrible and it's toxic and you know nine times out of ten it gets me made fun of even more and become more the target of the attention but and then, it, there you go but you just gotta do it like you just, it. yeah yeah I mean, well yeah because if you don't say anything and then it's just accepted in the in the space and which is i don't understand just i really don't understand. don't say the n-word i really don't understand what is what is the the end game there yeah like it's just to be like I'm triggered somebody. Oh my god. <laughs> so What's funny. the thing? The guy didn't But even, like why? He didn't even think like it wasn't like he was this kid, like I went back and it was on live stream fails and it's not like he was trying to like goat anybody. Like he was just Oh no, he just threw it out. Yeah, he was just in a group with his friends and just dropped it like it was cool. Which and, my mother would beat my ass. And I think it's, where are your parents? It's a failure of all those people who were with him. Like, yeah. you know, those people are more than likely playing with him all off stream. And when he does it, it's no big thing. But you got to especially with these younger players, be a leader and help. It's not hard them. to tell an 11 year old to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's really not. I want to know what sensitive sensitivity training for an 11 year old. Like, <laughs> I don't that's know. That's a good question because they're making. Uh, they, I think they said they may. They're making the whole team go through sensitivity training as well, which would make sense if nobody else said anything about it. So uh, here's a fun fact. Speaking of sensi sensitivity training, so I'm doing a lot of uh, of of behind the scenes learning Are of the get office for my trivia. News here? Yeah, Bloomberg News, and uh, the office. So eventually, the cast of the office had to go through. Because uh, everybody at NBC had to do it. They had to go through sexual harassment training and sensitivity training. And they actually used clips from The Office in NBC's sensitivity and sexual harassment training videos of Hilarious. things not to do. So they'd be in the training and they go, oh, look, that's us. Oh, yeah. We don't do that. Don't do that in The Office, guys. <laughs> pretty funny hilarious the uh, more you know unloved homie in chat says you think their parents actually care well they should do you think their parents actually know that's the thing i i don't believe so i don't think they do i think the parents as sad as it is yeah i think a lot of the time these parents are just seeing this paycheck rolling in yeah and so they don't care really what their kids are doing they're just getting paid well and if you're if if you're an 11 year old and you're streaming you're obviously well versed in the internet you're well versed in social media you're aware you know that right you're from not wrong. supposed to say this you're yes. aware that there exists a word that you are not supposed to say because every time it's said it becomes a thing on the social media that you are a big part of so he knows but he didn't know he was being recorded so he's just a little shit all the time <laughs> yeah Pretty much. What a little it's like asshole. That, that John Mulaney. That's why bit. I hate kids. Uh, so what do you guys no, think it's about not the same. <laughs> Faze not just like firing him and just you just know just fire him doing this indefinite indefinite suspension with sensitivity training. So stupid. I mean, the sensitivity training is obviously needed. Yes, just fire the little shit. <laughs> I sound very aggressive. <laughs> you do. You sound very. But like, aggressive. just fire people who say the n word. Why is that L. a controversial opinion? If you say the N-word when you're actively representing your company, 
you're fired. I'm, and I'm thinking a lot of other cases that might have happened, but I mean, it it's Phase Clan. I one of the uh, not not that Phase Clan is like bad, but it's just he's one of their big star guys. You know, like what? Don't put your don't put all your eggs in an 11 year old basket. He's He's young, so I think that the thought is, and the FaZe Clan's all about family, you know? They're what? family, Dom. Family, Dom. So, okay, then ground your kid. I think that's what they did. Yeah. That's what they did. That's, that's exactly what they, what they did. did. Yeah, so so we'll I, see how long this indefinite suspension lasts. I think they're going to take it seriously. There's no way until it blows over. I hope the guy kid learns from it and it becomes, you know, turns into a positive where maybe people who are fans of his. It's kind of disheartening if you go through the comments from that tweet of the defenders. You know, a lot of his fans who are roughly the same age who don't really understand. He's just a kid. He doesn't know. He, you know, you have to teach him. He has to be taught these things. You know what's learning? You know what's a lesson? Getting fired. That's the lesson. <laughs> You're learning it right now. But it's not like he's going to go work at McDonald's. Like, he'll, he could be independent. He's so good at the damn game. Like, it would have to go up to, like, the, uh, not Riot level. It'd have to go up to the Epic level. Like, yeah. Because he could still compete. Like, I don't know that Epic made any kind of announcement that he couldn't play or participate and this kid probably makes more in his earnings than face clan pays him you know uh, yeah i i don't know i i think him getting fired yeah so he gets fired so like you said so what so then he goes and does go stream on your own whatever does yeah. on his own but Drop as many n bombs as you decide you want to because nobody's gonna fire you now and hopefully twitch just bans you <laughs> well hopefully it's a learning experience but then he all. goes to youtube gaming or facebook <laughs> gaming or like possibilities are endless uh, or you can go to caffeine like Drake or caffeine uh, Star Wars news so this is where we're going to kick it back over to Emma because I haven't really been following this stuff it looks like a bunch of malarkey to me but there's some news it's because the novelization was had an early release at C2E2 so there's a bunch of stuff coming out about the rise of Skywalker okay so this is the book based on the movie and there's yes. stuff that got cut from the movie yeah so the couple the couple big things that have been going around is first of all uh, apparently Palpatine was a clone. Wait, the Palpatine? Palpatine that you see in Rise of Skywalker is a clone. Uh, of the one we know and love, or it, he was a clone too? Uh, of the one that we know from the prequels. Okay. Which they just didn't want to say in the movie. Well, I'm You kinda... know what I love? You know what I love is getting really important story information outside of the story. That's my favorite. I mean. That's how you write a good movie. Your track record's all over the place with your love of this, uh other game death stranding like you didn't even understand that after 117 hours so what yeah but i'm not having to go get massive story points from supplemental information what if so what they omitted a few things it's it's a movie so there was that. you only got three and a half hours I'm literally just no, Corey's being full of shit right now <laughs> uh so yeah palpatine was a clone which they decided not to tell anybody but in the novelization uh, when Kylo sees him, it's recognized that he's a clone and the body is clearly disintegrating and really can't hold the power uh, of Palpatine. Like it's it's the Palpatine we know's spirit or soul or whatever, mm -hmm. but the body is a clone um, and it's just clearly can't hold his power. And the other one was the way they describe the kiss between Ben and Ray as like a kiss of what the hell is David doing? I haven't seen the movie yet. Are you kidding us? No. What the f- and, Okay, just cover your ears. Yeah. <laughs> Let the adults talk. So if you're listening to the audio podcast, <laughs> David is sitting next to us with his hands over his ears and like whispering to himself. He's singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the, so uh, I'm going to start talking to you. So, okay. Um, yeah, so they describe the way that it's it's written in the book is like a kiss of gratitude. Like it's like almost <laughs> written like it's not a romantic thing. I was like, are you- kidding me oh <laughs> uh, you know what you know how i say thank you a whole ass open mouth kiss you've never received a kiss of gratitude how I before say thank you that's how i say thank you that's not working it was just still hear everything no that's it's your fault it's march how does that it's, kiss it's just not it's just like it's maybe they're italian <laughs> don't they you kiss italians just like french kiss <laughs> yeah, i don't think you've been to say thank you yeah. Italy. why do you think everyone has a coronavirus you're gonna go to italy and need sensitivity training <laughs> Uh, no, it's just, it, it's, it's just another one of those things of like, this movie was not written very well. A lot of shit got left, not even on the cutting room floor. Like it didn't even get cut cause it wasn't there to begin with. Yeah. And then a lot of this stuff is like after the fact, they were like, oh shit, this doesn't make sense. We have to, exp uh, we'll just stay here. We'll just stay here. Is, uh, uh, JJ, uh, stop. <laughs> just stop. Like, 
if you hadn't spent 80% of this movie trying to undo The Last Jedi, maybe you had had time to tell the story you were trying to tell. But The Last Jedi was but, so but bad. The Last Jedi was the best of the new movies. No so. way! Oh, I stand worst. by that. It is the best of the new Star Wars. Even though movies. it had like Superman, Leia. Absolutely the oh, best of the my new movies. Gosh. Yeah, because I mean, clearly it's been established many times before in the Star Wars universe that Leia has incredible force power. I mean, it actually had been if you look at the extended universe. But, extended universe didn't even count anymore. But it's a legend now. If they're gonna say that, the but yeah, legends. so um, yeah, I mean, I like the Force Awakens, but it was just a nostalgia porn thing. Like, I really like the movie, and I like the characters, but I was like, cool, like, this is a story we've seen, you know, eight times now, or six times now. Like, all right, cool, there was Star no Wars, it's way. a new hope. But then The Last Jedi, we don't need to get into this right now, but I, prefer, I, you know, I really like The Last Jedi. I wish The Rise of Skywalker had actually been a sequel to The Last Jedi instead of J.J. trying to undo the whole thing, but whatever. So that's the that's the Star Wars the stuff that kind of went around over the last week, because C2E2 happened, they did an early release of the book, people are reading the book, and people are going... What the fuck is this? <sighs> I don't know. I, I I thought the the fan service was fine. I think with how much controversy and negativity from and warring parties of all these new movies, the best way to end it was just on neutral fan service ground. And I that's it's so boring. That's now. what I liked about it. I. I, and like if you if all you want from a Star Wars movie is like Star Wars nostalgia fan service, then you're gonna like the first one and the last one. Like that's what it is. But if you want an actual like new story out of Star Wars, you want an actual like, then you watch the Mandalorian. Something new. Then you watch the Mandalorian, yeah. which is a really really like some of the best Star Wars content we've got in years. Look how Mandalorian and united everybody. It did. It, it, Mandalorian was very good, but like Ryan Johnson went out of his way to try and make new stories and try and explore new things within the universe, and people were like, "No, we just want the six movies we've already had. We don't want anything else." And you suck if you try to do something new. <laughs> it's a and little more. Literally, what a little did. more to it than this. Was there though? It's a little dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. Was it though? Well, well, no. So uh, my thing, and I've always said it with this, is that they didn't have to shit on the old characters to make the new characters interesting, and they kept they, doing that. They didn't. They, I mean, they didn't have to, but but they did. The well, I mean, when JJ set out the, to this new trilogy, like he clearly wanted to include the old characters, and it's like, okay, well, you have to tell a story about new characters, but you're still hung up on these ones that we've had all this time with, and we kind of need to move them out of the way and or use them to create a new and compelling story that isn't something we've seen six times before. Killing Han Solo did not make Kylo more That was intriguing. Harrison Ford. That's Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford did not True. want to come back unless Han True. Solo died. But then assassinating Luke Skywalker's character again did not make kylo ren a more endearing character either like they could have done things to make these characters more interesting and they did a better job with like ray and finn probably more specifically ray towards the end they screwed it up but like they of just using the old characters as crutches like they could have just done what which was what jj abrams kind of set up the whole thing to do like um, he set up the whole because yeah. his idea with the trilogy was to make the first one heavily about Han, the second one heavily about Luke, and the third one heavily about Leia, which is why there were so many issues with the last one, because obviously Carrie Fisher had passed away. Yeah. But, like, he built this on the foundation of using these old characters as crutches. I didn't like... And then Ryan Johnson was like, I gotta make something out of this. I didn't like any of the first two, to be honest. I didn't like The Force Awakens, and I didn't like The Last Year. You liked The Rise of Skywalker better than both of them? I did. Oh, it's the weakest. It's uh, the weakest. But it had Wedge in the end. Like that, and that's what I was there for. I Just, was there for which uh, I liked. I liked the Force Awakens. I didn't hate it. I thought there was you enough I liked it. fan service in there, and then a, a lot of like, oh, that's this. This is fun. Like who? Steven in chat it was like, it was a fun movie. Yeah, See, that should have fun. been the end of the fan service. Like the your introduction to the new trilogy is your fan service, and then you get on with your story. Yeah. Speaking and of getting then the on, the third one was all fan service. Speaking of getting on with the story, Emma Skies, tell everyone about your annual SPCA stream that's coming up. A one month from today or one month from yesterday if you are listening to the audio podcast on Thursday, April 4th Yep. Saturday, it'll be the third anniversary of adopting my little baby girl Millie from the Sacramento SPCA and every year we do a big charity stream for them very very exciting uh, first year we raised a thousand dollars in 12 hours and then you like then we crushed that three thousand yeah. dollars the year after that what's the goal uh, I have not said yet I'm still vacillating on what it's gonna be Ooh. still still going for it vacillating yes 
See, she's still taking those L's oh my from God, earlier. Had read to come a up with book. some big is words. That, is that where you put Vaseline? Read. You have the a coronavirus, book. so you need to put the Vaseline on. Uh, so s keep track of Emma guys on Twitter, Instagram, big and shit happening Twitch. this year. I'm very excited. We got. I'm. I'm doing some moving and some shaking on some things this year, and uh, trying to trying to trying to make it uh, bigger than ever. I'm Exciting. excited. Yeah, we'll be there every step of the way. David Webb, what about you? What are you most excited about? I have a feeling it's Monday. It's Monday. Monday uh, office trivia. Uh, I feel like these this decade of watching The Office countless times, literally countless times, has been preparing it's me for this off. moment. Yeah. And and I'm realizing as I'm making these questions, why have I never gone to an office trivia before myself? And entered? <laughs> because you're a fake fan. I, I I could have been cleaning up. All these years, I can't believe not, how many signups. Like, yeah, that's a testament to the office community. The office community. Okay, here, here's the show. Here's the thing. The show ended seven years ago. It ended in 2013, and the fact that it's such an icon still, and there's more fans every day because there's these millennials that never watched it when it was on TV, and they're now watching it because of Netflix, and they're now fans because like it's just, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a cultural phenomenon. Uh, and for me, uh, the same grind, man. Shock2020.com. We got our San Francisco Shock homestand, which is Overwatch League, bringing the best teams in the world to Berkeley, Zellerbach Hall, for two days of back-to-back -back matches, cosplay contest with a $1,000 prize pool. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fun to be had. We're going to do our championship ring ceremony featuring Marshawn Lynch, and we're going to unveil what those rings look like. It's going to be unlike any other esports event in the Bay Area. And there hasn't been one like it in a while, and there isn't going to be another one uh, in a long time either until we do it again in July. Uh, so go shock2020.com. We're already out of Saturday single day tickets. We're running extremely low on the weekend. All that's left is VIP. Uh, and then Sunday, we got some room, and we're going to have Sleepy, our former support player, who's like exploded in popularity on Twitch and YouTube. So uh, it's going to be exciting to get updates and see what he's been up to. He's going to be doing signing sessions and all that. So check it out, shock2020.com. Buy your tickets today. And that's it for The Real David Webb, Emma Skies. My name is Corey Sang. You've just been banged.